Welcome back. This is part five of the journey through the 20 aerial toll houses. This is where you'll find out that the notorious doc infected others with HIV, threatened murder, and committed sins that are unspeakable. Toll house number 10 is envy. I don't think he's ever going to get out of this one. This is for people who are unfriendly, who hate their fellow humans, who dislike, resent, or hate others for having more than they do. And that was him. And now we come to Toll House number 11. I already did a video about Dorian Gray and narcissists and how Harry Leo Duran was so vain, he immortalized himself. But let's be more specific about what it means to be so conceited that you run around in designer clothes that you've charged up on your credit cards but will never be able to pay off. How you drive around in a souped up Mustang that you also will never be able to pay off. How you're so self-important you think that you're better than everybody else and you bam off all the other doctors and nurses and other healthcare professionals because, well, you're the only one that knows anything. How you boast and brag and show off and flaunt your appearance, especially when you star in sex clubs. I, I think that pegs it right there. Man-pleasing, I better not even attempt to say anything about that because I'll get vulgar and end up using some of George Carlin's dirty words. Um, failure to honor and obey one's parents. He didn't get along with his parents at all until they were almost dead. Uh, failing to look for God. Uh, yeah, he, he went to a lot of churches. He tried all different spiritual paths, but he just, nobody was as good as him. Uh, and yes, he was very self-reliant on himself and just hated God for not admiring him as much as he admired himself. And now we come to Toll House number 12, which is anger, and Toll House number 13, bearing grudges. You see the picture I chose? He did practice black magic, and he bore a grudge against a resident while he was at the University of New Mexico who he claimed falsely reported him for being on drugs after he beat another person to a pulp. That's all documented in sealed records, but I can reveal it now. And that's in the book. So yes, um, nurturing evil thoughts against others in one's heart. He didn't just keep it in his heart. And now we come to murder. There is a suspicion that me may have actually murdered someone in New Mexico. Um, can't prove it just yet. But as far as self-abusive and self-destructive behavior goes, well, that's detailed in great excruciating detail in the book. As much as I tried to sanitize it, he did go into body piercing and genitalia. And he definitely had tattoos. Um, did he ever wound another person? Did he ever push or shove or beat the crap out of someone? Yes, me and several other people who will testify at some point. Did he try to suicide? He always threatened it. Um, and the only thing I know he did not ever perform was an abortion. At least he never confessed to, to doing that. I think he actually did dislike that. Toll House number 15, Sorcery. Well, the late Notorious Doc was definitely into sorcery. He was into Paulo Mayumbe. He was into Santaria. He had a cauldron with human skulls that he purchased while in med school. He had tarot cards. He had charms. He threatened to send, in fact, he 
told me he wrote a spell for the Kachina in that picture to come out of the picture and kill me. Oh, dear. Toll House number 16 is all about this kind of sex you're not supposed to ever have, um, including thoughts and glances and, well, it's lust and all those things that we used to think were very dirty and we didn't want to talk about. And now, of course, you've got advocates for doing all of this and books and magazine articles and it's on the front page news. But it used to be something that you were told, don't do this, any of it. Nope, don't, 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 don't. Um, yes. Toll House number 17, adultery. Yes, the notorious doc was an adulterer. I, I don't think he ever raped anybody, although I did find a Facebook Messenger conversation with someone where he talked about sodomizing a classmate in junior high. Um, I didn't expect to find that one. And, well, violations of vows of chastity. Uh, he did that constantly. I did not know that when he was traveling from home that he was actually, well, cheating. Toll House number 18, and I didn't know that there was such a word as sodomic, but it is. And this is listed as sodomic sins in the much older text. It includes incest. I'm positive he didn't do that one. I am not, I'm old enough to not be able to say this without gagging, but <clears throat> yes, uh, there are hundreds of videos of him performing sodomy, being sodomized, uh, everything above that you could do with your mouth. Um, nothing in the older text talked about scatology, but he Yes, he did that too. There was no examples of bestiality on his phone, nor anywhere else that I was able to access. And I don't think he would have done that. But you never know. I never thought he'd be eating. Um, and now we come to a very interesting one. Toll House number 19 is heresy. And the late notorious doc considered himself an expert on heresy within the Roman Catholic faith, within Nimapa, which is Tibetan Buddhism, within the Hadith of Islam. Yes, he thought he was an expert on all religions, and then he would get into fights with people online, argue about their faith, his faith, everybody else's faith, and then he threw it all away. Uh, the irreverence and disrespect for holy things. Let me point out that we found a closet where he just threw all of the books on religion and just tossed the icons that he so cherished onto the floor. And the last whole house is number 20, Cruelty of Heart. He actually used to joke that his heart was shrinking like the Grinch's. He lacked sympathy. He lacked compassion. He lacked mercy. He was incapable of forgiving anyone. Malice, oh my God, he fantasized about killing everybody. Did he take vengeance? Yes, oh yes, he returned evil for evil every chance he got or he would assume that you did some sort of evil and then beat the crap out of you. Vindictive, oh my God, he sought vengeance all the time. He wanted to kill the doctor who had reported him in the University of New Mexico. Spiteful, oh, 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 we, you have no idea. Ah, oh, the afterlife, which might entail a stay in hell, is a complicated topic. 
wait till the next video series. You could buy a cow.